Second Language Acquisition Principles in Content-Based Instruction Acquisition and Learning The field of second language acquisition investigates how people learn languages other than their native language, L1. It is the study of language learning, but when we need to be more precise, we say it is the study of language acquisition. In the study of second language acquisition, we distinguish between the terms acquisition and learning. The term acquisition refers to the natural, largely unconscious mechanisms that assist people in learning languages. Acquisition leads to fluid speech and the ability to function in a language. This is the kind of learning children do as they learn their L1. Activities that support acquisition in the classroom are communicative activities, where the students must communicate with each other successfully to carry out the task. The term learning, when contrasted to acquisition, refers to conscious language learning processes such as studying grammar rules. Learning leads to the ability to explain grammar and other language features. It is necessary for filling out the majority of fill-in-the-blank grammar exercises. It can also be used, although in a slow and effortful way, to produce speech in the second language, L2. Not all people have this kind of knowledge about the languages that they speak. For example, native speakers can correctly identify sentences that are grammatically incorrect, but not all of them could explain why a certain sentence is incorrect. Young children respond better to the kinds of activity-based tasks that will lead to acquisition. Additionally, young children can pick up L2s in much the same way they are still picking up their L1, and this means that much of L2 acquisition can happen with less explicit language instruction. Necessary Elements for L2 Learning For L2 language acquisition to happen, Learners of any age need a great deal of exposure to the target language. Learners learn from this target language input that they hear and read. When learners notice how something is used by other speakers, they can imitate what they have heard. Interaction and feedback are two other essential elements in L2 acquisition. L2 learners learn from the reactions they get. If the other person does not understand what the language learner is trying to say, the language learner may realize that he or she has said something incorrectly. For example, if you are saying a word in your L2, but the other person can't understand that word, you might try a different pronunciation. If the other person finally understands, then that tells you something about how the word should be pronounced. With enough opportunities to practice it, you may finally master it. The opportunities that L2 learners have for practicing the L2 should take the form of interesting and meaningful communication with other people. This is good news for CBI. If a CBI teacher can communicate successfully with his or her students and provide content lessons that are interesting and interactive, this is already nearly everything that you need for L2 acquisition. CBI classes offer a great deal of exposure to the target language and, when well taught, frequent opportunities to use the L2 in interesting and meaningful communication among the students and the teacher.
The road is filled with errors. The road to second language acquisition is through extensive practice. The more a person practices, the better his or her L2 ability. But of course, learners make many errors. Even after having been taught a new grammar rule, word, or pronunciation, there may be a long process with several different stages before that learner is able to produce the new language feature accurately most of the time. Many imperfect attempts are part of the process of acquiring another language. Errors are so common in an L2 learner's speech that to correct all or most of the errors would have a very negative impact on the learner's feelings. When learners feel high anxiety, their language learning shuts down. This effect is called the effective filter. Therefore, L2 and CBI teachers need to correct learner errors infrequently, but strategically. Learners sometimes need explicit correction. There are some features of language that can still be easily understood when expressed incorrectly. For example, if someone says, I wonder who is she, they will be understood perfectly, even though standard English would prefer the form, I wonder who she is. If learners never receive feedback on a consistent error, the form may fossilize in the L2 learner's speech. Conclusion. Before ending, let us come back to what might be described as the bottom line of what research into second language acquisition has told us. Learners need frequent opportunities to use the L2 in interesting and meaningful communication with other people. In order for there to be meaningful communication, the participants need to understand each other. In a CBI course, this means that instructors, we will explore multiple ways of accomplishing this throughout this course. Teacher talk. And one way it can be achieved is through simplification. Later in this module, we will explore some specific ways to simplify language. But we also want to provide rich and authentic input. To help L2 acquisition, teachers can also employ repetition and restating. That is, learners understand more when they hear something twice and see it said in a somewhat different way the second time. These are the